Hello everybody, it's Gail here. Thanks for coming back to watch another video on my channel and if you are new, hello and welcome. It's really nice to have you here. Today I'm doing a super quick flip through of my February slash Valentine slash early spring setup. This is a pocket um, sugar cookie foxy fix. Um, so that's a number two, which is pocket size. It has white stitching and white elastics. The sugar leather is really soft and bendy and just gorgeous. And the colour cookie is kind of like, I suppose over here we would call it like a mushroom. It's like a taupey, beigey kind of colour. Really, really gorgeous. It's just so nice um i bought this off a buy sell trade group on facebook the lady who i bought it off um bought it brand new from foxy fix and then when she got it she realized that she'd bought the wrong size um, and because she'd customized it they wouldn't let her send it back so i saw it and it was the exact specs of the sugar cookie number two that I had in my foxy fix basket so I just pounced on it now I did end up getting whacked for customs on it um but even so it was still cheaper than it was buying from foxy fix direct I think I paid um it worked out at 54 pound plus 19 pound customs cheeky buggers anyway so this is my top view this my side view this is the spine I just got the compact spine so it's got four elastics and it's got the rose gold fox and pip bow on the side and it, like I said it's the exact specs of what I had in my basket for foxy fix so I was like right <laughs> I'm having that so I've just moved my little charm off my Nayadori that says never never give up and the theme that I set it up with is like a romantic, um, quite old fashioned, obviously it's got some contemporary stuff in there but I wanted to show you my um, pen as well, this rose gold one, this is a genuine Swarovski pen that my husband bought me when we were on honeymoon it was a, a present and I don't actually normally carry this with me but I just thought it looked lovely for the setup. So I have got no pockets. I like the sugar cookie leather just all floppy. And this is my first dashboard. All the dashboards um, I made myself just with laminating pouches. They're super, super easy to make. Um, sometimes my sizing is a bit off but... As long as it fits in my book, I don't care really. The bow is from Wendy Prince. It's a die cut. The papers are scrap papers from the works. This is also from Wendy Prince. This is a little sticker. That's just from um, QD. I don't know if you guys will know what QD is. But it's just like a discount store. And then because we're going for romance. This is just one of these little, um, what do you call them, project life um photograph thingies and some die cuts and some puffy stickers from paper chase and this is like my favorite photograph from our wedding and there's two reasons why i love this photograph one is because it's a gorgeous romantic setting in front of um where were we we were on top of whitby abbey with like the church in the background and the other reason is that when you see the full length of the picture, I look really skinny because my husband's standing in front of us. So that's why I love that picture. <laughs> the vellum I printed myself. This is just a free digital download of Etsy. These are the same books as what you've seen before. So I've got my weekly from Crafty Alley Cat. So it's got the days on that side and a notes page there. This little paper clip here, which I love. <clears throat> um where did I get that from I got that this week and that's from Izzy and Daisy I got a lot of paper clips from them and it arrived really really quickly my pen is just slotted into um a rose gold bulldog clip I've got a little envelope there that I got from Harriet Wright design or maybe Izzy and Daisy no I got that from somebody else <laughs> I've bought that much this week oh my god 
And then there's the back of the vellum on the back of the dashboard. This is from Fox and Pip. It's one of her freebies. This is from that um, Project Life box that I got that was like massively reduced. And um, same papers, and I've just put doily on the back of them. This is from JD, um, JD's Crafts on Etsy. She made us a load of these and just sent them as a little thank you. I think that's really cute. More scrap paper from the same pad. This is a die cut that I made with Katie, my friend, and these little rhinestone stickers you saw in my Hufflepuff setup. They are from, where are they from? Hobbycraft. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't normally show pictures of my husband on the internet, but you can't really see him in these two pictures, so I think I'm all right. So this is the same photograph again. This is more scrapbook paper from the same pad. Then I've printed this acetate with our photograph. And I love how you can see us from the other side. <laughs> and the vellum, again, I printed myself. This is my notes book. This has just got like random lists in it. Um, expenses and all sorts of stuff. And then this is my favorite bit in the whole book. I love this. So there's the back of the vellum, which I printed myself. Then I printed another photograph from our wedding on Etsy. I'm just going to try and sort of cover up my husband's face a bit. So this is um, like a selfie that me and him did on our wedding day. And where I've printed it on the acetate, you can see the top and bottom of the photograph lines up perfectly with the poem that I've printed underneath. I think this is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous words by Emily Garcet. Garces? I don't know how you pronounce that. And then another bow from uh, Wendy Prince. Another die cut that I made. It's on like a like a pearl luster paper. This one's gorgeous. This, I collect vintage stuff. And this is from um, a vintage fair that I went to. So this is a genuine World War I postcard. Um, just because we were going by like a romantic theme I thought that would be perfect so it's like the lady praying and waiting for her, her loved one to come home I think that's really sweet this is another clip from Izzy and Daisy that says love gift tag from um, my valentine's present from my husband there's some stickers in there from Ickle and Co there's Wendy Prince um, Naya Papery Crafty Rat Beautiful Planning who's that one from? Natty planning that one's from <clears throat> and there's the back of the postcard this is the vellum that you would have seen in my Hufflepuff setup another rose gold clip with the pen that I actually use which is a pilot <clears throat> excuse me this is a pilot 0 0.04 and I'm not actually that keen on this pen because it sometimes skips I much prefer the uniball signal pens i think they are gorgeous and i bought some more of them today um this is my study guide and then there's some more random lists in the back some more vellum some more of that paper another die cut and this one says let your dreams come true it's just a puffy sticker again from wilkinson's the pink roses and the edging strips uh the edging strips are from the range and the pink paper, rose paper, I just printed myself onto photograph paper. Again, I made this dashboard and this is like a fully laminated one, so it's not open at the top. And this is just the white roses. And then inside, there's a couple of, this is from the Project Life pack. This is a gift tag from um, a present from my husband. Again, it's all romance themed, so there you go. These, oh, I've got these for this week. Moon sticky notes oh god and i can't remember where they're from um i will try and find it and link the shop and then the peony paper you saw in my hufflepuff setup the paper clip i made myself with a an alphabet button you would have seen that in my hufflepuff setup. this one is just a cheap one off um out of a pack from the range and then this book just a blank notebook well it's not blank now it's got some stuff in the back and then die cuts. These are from um, 
Busy Bee stickers. I want to say I love her little doggy. I just think it's so cute. These sticky notes were sent to us in some Happy Mail. And then that's the back of the dashboard with the cherry blossom. The um, little clip that I've got here at the top, this little rose one with the pearls and the little crystals. This is actually being made from, um, I'll just show you, it's just on a gold paper. These were actually the roses and pearls that I wore in my hair when me and my husband got married. So I don't think you can get much more romantic than that, can you? So again, there's the side. There's my top view. It's nice and chunky. This is my everyday carry. And I absolutely love it. I really hope you liked seeing this. If you did, leave us a big fat thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next one. Be nice. Bye.